Hey guys, Mika here, and I'm bringing you a Japanese custom call instrument concert size from Seilin Ukuleles up in Nagano, Japan. And I gotta say, this is a beautiful instrument. Um, it is a, like a matte, satin matte finish. Uh, but I gotta say, like when I opened it in the case and I took it, I was like, wow, like that's some nice premium uh, curly coal. And I love the darkness too of the coal. Um, as I'm spinning it around and the green is just really nice with the streaks dark lines the nice big curls going up and down really beautiful um, even here on the sides and again yeah the front is just very striking um, one really cool thing about this instrument is that if you look here on the front and you look around where the purfling is or the the abalone purfling is it looks like there's like a coal binding but upon closer inspection, when I was looking at it, and this was pointed out to me, the way this instrument was just like created was that the purfling was created as an inlay, but there's a space between the outer edge of the instrument and where the abalone purfling is set. So upon glance, you know, from far, far away, it looks like this is like a separate coal binding, but upon closer inspection, you look at it, it's actually, there's no binding at all, but it gives off that illusion as if there is a binding. When you look here on the side, you can see that there is no binding. And then again, over here, there's no separate piece of wood that's wrapped around that, which is what binding usually is. So I thought this is a really cool, unique feature um, about this ukulele. Abalone, the abalone really makes the ukulele pop. And you can clearly see too that the abalone is inlaid all over the fretboard in this vine inlay. And what's really cool about this is that all like the kind of like the leaves will pretty much be spewing out on the fret numbers or the fret markers as um, itself. So measure three, five, seven, 10, 12, 15, and then even 17 for those of you who like to play that high up on the fretboard. But the leaves itself that stick out on the vine are your fret markers itself. and. For some reason, you're like, oh, I need the fret markers on the side. It's right here too for you as well. Um, can, I can't really get over how nice um, this coal is. And because it's a matte finish, there's still a super tiny layer of finish on top, but it still gives it that nice, like glossy um, look, but it's still looking, but still looking like it's like a satin finish, but there is like a super thin layer of gloss on it, but it just really reacts nicely or just, meshes with the this this piece of coal so so elegantly it's really nice another thing that i noticed too from from my end and for me as a player i noticed that even though there's no binding i'm noticing that when i like run my fingers on the side it's very soft and it's almost like a little rounded so it doesn't really matter that it's like that but for me when i'm playing for instruments that say don't have like this arm bevel right here when i have make contact like this when i'm holding an instrument and I'm trying to rub it like this, there's no sharp point. There's no like, it goes like this and then it cuts off to go to the body from the side. Like it just feels like slightly rounded. So when I rub my arm like this, it just feels good on my skin and my contact point. So when you do that around the whole body like this, you can feel that nice soft edge on the top and the back of the ukulele as well. So I think that's a nice little attention to detail whether that was done on purpose or not, but I. I feel like I noticed that that's something different that's usually not on um, most ukuleles. And, and then on the bridge here and the fretboard as well as the headstock, we have beautiful Indian rosewood, get that nice dark chocolate um, kind of color. And then we also have the saline um, inlay here and abalone on the top. And then we also have a satin finish neck here on the back. And then we also have nice Goto Planetary Tuners in my favorite color scheme, gold and black, the classy um, color combination. Goto's being one of like the top tuners you can put on an instrument. Um, so it's super smooth, super easy and accurate to tune, especially um, on this ukulele. Um, yeah, but just again, beautiful coal, beautiful inlay work on the fretboard. Um, beautiful nice simple headstock and then that black and gold tuner is really aesthetically pleasing to me and what's also aesthetically pleasing is the sound on my ears it has a nice projection nice sustain nice clarity even on like the e string on the c string really nice everything cuts through nice sustain with the vibrato you can hear the individual really nice 12th fret really nice nice little ping even on the 15th fret 
super clean. I love it. For me as a classical player, I like having my notes very clean, articulate, very, it, it cuts through a lot. Mm. Yeah, everything is just nicely balanced, everything. Nothing gets muddied out, nothing gets like overlapped over, uh, over each other or drawn each other out. Everything's just really nice. Very nice tone. It's super clean. If I do a little bit of strumming. Super clean sound. Really nice and clean. He's doing basic strumming. Really nice mid range song. Which is a song characteristic that you're more commonly going to get, not only with like a concert size, but more especially with like the koa sound. For me, I like to categorize koa, and then this is super subjective, just my opinion, but when I hear koa instruments, and it varies too on the builder and how they brace their instruments and how thick, you know, Mother Nature, um, all of these different factors, but usually when I hear or play koa instruments, a lot of the sound that you hear in the sound spectrum from your spruce-like shimmery clarity, clean-cut highs to your... Super dense, thick ebony, Brazilian rosewood, Indian rosewood, and all that kind of stuff. Cole likes to sit right in the middle of the sound spectrum. You get a nice mid-range warmth um, kind of sound. You don't get super low ends kind of sound, but you get a nice just right in the middle. A lot of sweetness, a lot of just warmth without that darkness from the bottom of the bottom end. But when I listen to this instrument, it has a lot of that just nice sweet sweet sound but you get more of that kind of childlike sound or that more of that kind of happy cheery cheery sound because it's a concert size and because it's a concert size the body is going to be smaller than say a tenor size um, so you're going to have a little less room for their sound to you know get a mature deeper sound because there's less room for the sound to reverberate here in the body so when you play a concert size ukulele you're not going to have the maturity or that mature sound that you get from a tenor especially a baritone size ukulele so you're going to get a like more of a happier kind of of brighter sound and then coupled with that koa mid-range sound you get this kind of sound from the instrument it's a really clean cut everything cuts through really nice but it still sounds really sweet and really nice on my ears Plays really nice too. The action is really nice. For my personal taste, it could be a little lower, but I literally like my action so dangerously low to where if you pick too hard, it'll buzz. <laughs> so for this, this is a nice happy medium for people who like maybe might play a little hard to dig into their strings a little more in their finger style playing, or if you're a strummer and you're like really going at it, or if you play more aggressive, um, I feel like this instrument will hold up really well and I don't think it's gonna buzz. So really nice. Go ahead and jump into a sound sample. Here we go.
Super sweet. Still trying to shake. That's how I, I know it's a great ukulele too. I can literally shake <laughs> that sound, shake all that tone out of it. Man. Fabulous. All right, here's some strumming to go along with that. Let's go ahead and go and see. Try it again. <laughs> 